The skies, they were ashen and sober. The leaves, they were crisped and sere. The leaves, they were withering and sere. It was night in the lonesome October of my most immemorial year. It was hard by the dim lake of Orber, in the misty mid-region of Weir. It was down by the dank tarn of Orber, in the ghoul-haunted woodland of Weir. Here once, through an alley titanic, of Cyprus I roamed with my soul, of Cyprus with Psyche my soul. These were days when my heart was volcanic, as the Soriac rivers that roll, as the lavas that restlessly roll, their sulfurous currents down Yarnak, in the ultimate climes of the pole, that groan as they roll down Mount Yarnak, in the realms of the boreal pole. Our talk had been serious and sober, but our thoughts they were palsied and sere, our memories were treacherous and sere, for we knew not the month was October, and we marked not the night of the year. Ah, night of all nights of the year! We noted not the dim lake of Orba, though once we had journeyed down here, remembered not the dank tarn of Orba, nor the ghoul-haunted woodland of Weir. And now as the night was senescent, and star-dials pointed to morn, as the sundials hinted of morn, at the end of our path they liquescent, and nebulous luster was born, out of which a miraculous crescent arose with a duplicate horn, Astarte's bediamonded crescent, distinct with its duplicate horn. And I said, she is warmer than Diane, she rolls through an ether of sighs, she revels in a region of sighs, she has seen that the tears are not dry on these cheeks where the worm never dies, and has come past the stars of the lion to point us the path to the skies, to the Lethean peace of the skies. Come up, in despite of the lion, to shine on us with her bright eyes. Come up through the lair of the lion, with love in her luminous eyes. But Psyche, uplifting her finger, said, Sadly this star I mistrust, her pallor I strangely mistrust. O oh, hasten, O oh, let us not linger, O oh, fly, let us fly, for we must. In terror she spoke, letting sink her wings till they trailed in the dust, in agony sobbed, letting sink her plumes till they trailed in the dust, till they sorrowfully trailed in the dust. I replied, this is nothing but dreaming, let us on by this tremulous light, let us bathe in this crystalline light, its sibyllic splendour is beaming, with hope and in beauty to-night. See, it flickers up the sky through the night, ah, we safely may trust to its gleaming, and be sure it will lead us aright, we safely may trust to a gleaming that cannot but guide us aright since it flickers up to heaven through the night. Thus I pacified Psyche and kissed her, and tempted her out of her gloom, and conquered her scruples and gloom, and we passed to the end of a vista, but were stopped by the door of a tomb, by the door of a legended tomb. And I said, What is written, sweet sister, on the door of this legended tomb? She replied, Ula loom. Ula loom, tis the vault of thy lust, Ula loom. Then my heart it grew ashen and sober, as the leaves that were crisped and sere, as the leaves that were withering and sere, and I cried, it was surely October, on this very night of last year, that I journeyed, I journeyed down here, that I brought a dread burden down here, on this night of all nights in the year, Ah, what demon has tempted me here? Well, I know, now, this dim lake of Orba, this misty mid-region of Weir, while I know, now, this dark tarn of Orba, this ghoul-haunted woodland of Weir.